Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited. This is my first official proper reaction uh, to the Rings of Power. I'm very excited. This is episode three. Um, if you haven't seen my previous two videos, basically I'd already seen the, the first two episodes in, uh, in on the big screen in cinema at the premiere. Um, so the previous two videos were just like re-reactions. It was just me re-watching them. But this time, this is my first official proper reaction. So I'm really excited. Let's get into it. Reminder, I do not know very much about the lore. Um, and also if you're new to my channel, um, the video opacity will be down to around 60%, so it will be quite hard to see, and the volume will be very low, so that it doesn't trigger copyright, and also it will be flipped backwards, so I apologize, but there's nothing I can do, unfortunately, so let's get into the episode, I'm really excited. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot he got grabbed in the last episode. By scary ass orcs, it seems. Okay, well, that's fucking terrifying. Hey, hey, Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, this is a fucking dark start to the episode. Fucking hell. And then we get blessed with bright beauty. Jeez. She looks beautiful. She really is stunning, isn't she? Oh, pretty boy. Hi. Uh... Hello. Who the fuck are you people? Hello. Do you have her dagger? Oh my god, the way he just side-eyed her. Okay, sir, I like your voice. Oh my goodness. Where are we going? Are we taking the elf and man to Isengard? <laughs> the Isengard is not home. <laughs> the island kingdom. Numenor. Cool. I don't know where that is, but sick. Either way, I may not know where it is, but it's fucking beautiful. Wow. Whoa, it's huge! Holy shit! It's beautiful! I want to go there! Wow! No one kneels in Numenor. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh god, I love him so much. My gratitude. He's like, the, uh, okay. The fuck? What? Oh. You try not to make any new enemies. Oh, don't lower your voice like that. Don't look. Oh my god. He's going to make me fall in love with him. Jesus Christ. Oh, glad you're late. I don't know how you can handle yourself like that. How self control. Damn. Isn't that a Sildur? Yeah. Oh my god, it is. That's definitely something I would do. I would go straight to the animal before the person. Surely you heard. Dude, I wouldn't be trusting the orcs or Anahin. Oh, good lord. He's gonna... Oh. It has to be drugged. There's no way an orc's just gonna give them water freely like that. No! What did he do wrong? That's just fucking rude. Damn, it's so pretty. God damn, they really went extra with this, didn't they? Holy shit. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful horse as well. She's so happy! I'm gonna cry! Man, they did not need to go this fucking hard. Holy shit. God, she's so fucking happy. That's just like my serotonin fix for like the next year. Whoa. My God, that actually made me tear up. What the hell? Not another man. I will shovel 
cold. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> wood, I will shape the sea than anything you have ever seen. I'll... I feel like he's gonna start trouble. He's gonna start trouble before the elf will. He's gonna kill him and he's gonna, well, he's gonna, maybe not kill him, but he's gonna take his thing. His badge. What will you take next? Your badge. Next few rounds on me. Alright, not where I was expecting it to go. But I think he's just... I think he's, yeah, he's going for the badge. He's going for the badge. He took it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. What a legend. I mean, at least I didn't have to kill anyone. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe there will be some fighting and killing potential. Let's fucking go! Holy fuck. Oh, Call me out, Rack. Ah. Yeah, well fucking done, idiot. Screwed over Galadriel. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe it'll show that the elf is good and that he's not... Elros. Who's his brother? <gasps> Elrond! Oh, that's beautiful! Thank our Lord King. It is in the event of Morgoth's defeat. What? By his successor. Oh, oh, the intense music. Let's go! The beginning. Oh! God, Bear knows, how, Bear knows how to make a scene so much more intense. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Scary. And nobody walks alone. <laughs> I see him learning. Oh my god, that's incredible. <laughs> well done, Poppy. You did so good. Poppy is the Samwise Gamgee. Oh god, please don't get caught. Oh god. Oh god, what are you doing? You're gonna get caught. Why are you burning it? Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Oh, he's using the light. Okay. Oh my god, he's getting he's gonna get discovered. He's gonna set himself on fire. Egypt! They spell Egypt wrong! It's E E J I T. Not I J I T. You idiot. You idiot! I told you, you were too close to the fire! Oh no. Oh my god, Nori's been exposed. Shit. <laughs> oh, awkward! Is Stranger gonna help? He is! Dude, I don't want to believe the theories that people are saying that he's Sauron. Because, like, he's so wholesome and sweet and I just want to hug him. And I just love him. He has to be fucking Gandalf. He has to be. He has to be. It's going to stress me if it isn't. I know it doesn't make sense for the lore, but they don't have full rights to the lore and they can change it. It's fine. It doesn't make it a bad thing if it's Gandalf. I love him. I love him. I love him. Oh my god, please don't let anything bad happen to him, ever. Please. Whoa! Oh, spicy! Run! Or don't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's, that's not what we wanted. 
No, we don't want a warg. No, 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 no. Oh, but he's kind of... Why did they make him cute? Oh, that's... Oh, no, don't kill him. He's so cute. Why is he cute? Oh, my lord. That is gross. Maybe he's not so cute. Whoa! Scales! Go! Why are you standing? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No! Why do they have to go with the slow-mo arrows again? I don't like this. Come on. PTSD. Fuck, I really thought they had a chance. Fucking hell. Oh, this guy's gonna look fucking horrific, isn't he? I think the, like, the masks and stuff they wear are even scarier. Wait, he doesn't look like an orc. No! Give me! I will look! Ah! Dude, how can anyone dislike these episodes? It's so... Oh my god, this show is incredible. I'm... We're three episodes in and I'm fucking in love with all of it. It's so incredible. I'm so happy. And while I will admit I did miss Elrond and I did miss Durin, like, I, I miss them both. We did get a lot of content of them in the past two episodes, but... Um... This episode was insane. I have completely, completely fallen in love with Halbrand. And I swear to God, if anything happens to him, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. I know something will eventually happen to him because, you know, he's a man and he will eventually die. But, like, anything bad, like, happens where he doesn't just have, like, a nice peaceful death at the end of his life. Like, if something happens or if, like, he turns out to be a bad guy, which, to be fair, I don't mind because I do like some villains. Um, I say as I have a Darth Vader tattoo, but we don't need to talk about it. Um, I really like him. I think he is great and Galadriel is great and their chemistry is perfect. Um, I want to give the stranger a hug. He's so wholesome and I will protect him with my life. It's like that meme where it's like, I've known him for a day, but I will protect him. I will, I will literally kill for him. I love him. Um, I really really hope that he's not sauron <laughs> because i know that's a big theory at the minute i know he you know the theories are like saruman gandalf radagast as much as i would love him to be radagast because i i absolutely adore radagast but gandalf is also number one um and like i said earlier i know it would change the lore i know gandalf's not meant to arrive until the third age and this is the second age but they don't have full access to everything I don't know what they can and can't change or what they can and can't do. But if they change the lore to where Gandalf arrives in the second age and then maybe like he disappears for a bit and then comes back in the third age, it would make sense. It wouldn't be an issue. I don't I don't really I don't know the full details, so I can't really speak properly, but from what I from what I know vaguely, I feel like that would be okay. Like that's not an issue. Is it? I don't I, I get people want their hardcore, you know, the hardcore lore stands. They want that kind of stuff to be, like, exact. But, like, just let it be. If it is, just let it be. Um, because lore can get changed. Things can get, like, switched around. And it wouldn't make a difference to the story. It would just give us some wholesome content. And even if he isn't Gandalf, whoever the hell he is, I love him. And I, I think he deserves a hug from everyone. Um, I hope I don't regret this in the future. <laughs> Um, I always have a bad choice of characters where I'm like, yes, I'm gonna fall in love with this person and then they die or they turn out to be bad or something goes wrong and I'm like, well, time for heartbreak, I guess. Um, Arendir is a badass and the other elves and I'm so sad that the rest of them died. I mean, it was kind of inevitable, but those orcs are fucking terrifying. They are scary and I'm very intrigued to see who this Adar guy is um, because he did not look like an orc. So I'm very intrigued as to who this could be. Maybe he is Sauron. Maybe he's Sauron. I don't fucking know. I want to know who he is. Give me. Give me. Tell me. I want to know. Like, I feel like because they did mention that Adar is an el is elven. He could be an elf. Which would kind of make it weird, because why is he keeping elves captive if he is an elf himself? <laughs> that rhymed. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know why he would be an elf. Maybe he's just a bad elf. I mean, obviously, it, it's like... I, I guess you could say, like, oh, well, you know, why would a human keep another human captive? Because humans are fucking assholes, that's why. So maybe there is some asshole elves out there. Um, which I feel like I, I haven't witnessed because I love all of them. So... If he's going to be a villain elf, then prepare for me to fall in love with him as well. This is dangerous. This show is dangerous, man. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see where Galadriel and Halbrand's relationship is going to go because I feel like they're very, like, I don't know. There's a lot of tension between them. Like, I won't be, like, I don't care what direction it goes, but I do think that there is some weird tension there um, that definitely needs to be resolved in some way. But I'm excited to see them working together. And Isildur, oh my god, he is beautiful. And I'm excited to see where his story goes as well. Um, I didn't really understand fully what he was talking about. Like the whole like uh, like him with his father. I don't really know what's going on there. I didn't fully grasp the, the, the meaning behind the conversation. Um, but I guess, is he going to be the one taking Galadriel to Middle-earth? I think I don't know I, I don't I, I have no idea I mean he has to fucking end up in Middle Earth at some point um has to become besties with Elrond maybe not so much besties but <laughs> but yeah I'm 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 really enjoying this I'm very very excited for the next episode um I yeah I'm still stunned by how beautiful the visuals are and how beautiful the music is um and that fucking scene with the horse, they went in. Oh my God, they spent like half their money on that scene and it was worth it. It was so beautiful. Um, just to see Galadriel happy for five seconds was like the nicest thing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. The comments will be filtered. I will have to review every comment before they're posted, which is going to be the same for all of my Lord of the Rings videos. Because there has been a mass of toxic hit. And... No, while I, I will happily accept constructive criticism where people are like, oh, I'm not really sure about this. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of this. I didn't enjoy this. I think this blah, blah, blah. Completely fine because that's your opinion and you're not using it to harass people. You're not using your opinion. You're not trying to state your opinion as a fact and you're not trying to take other people's enjoyment out of it. Whereas I have had people threatening me. I've had people calling me really horrible things just because i enjoyed it they're not aiming this at the show they're aiming this at me for enjoying the show so i've had to turn off my comments so that i have to review all of them um so if your comment doesn't get posted immediately it's because i have to i have to click the little tick on the app um so if you're gonna write a hate comment don't fucking bother because it's not gonna get posted it's just gonna get deleted and you're gonna be forgotten about and you're gonna be banned from my channel um so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week for the next episode. So peace out.